What's up guys, this is Blash from Racing Brick. I hope you enjoyed my preview and detail building review videos about the LEGO Technic 42111 Dom's Dodge Charger set. If you missed them, then you can watch both by clicking on the link above. As I promised, I'm back with another video. This time I will do my best to answer the most frequent questions about the set. So I will compare the size of the Charger with some other well-known LEGO cars. I will have a closer look at the wheels and we will try some alternatives. And we will do the obligatory car transporter test with a little extra. So let's start. According to the datasheet on lego.com, the Charger is 39 cm long, 16 cm wide and 11 cm high. The real life 1970 Dodge Charger RT was 5.3 meters long. So this means the scale is around 1 to 13.5. This is not a frequently used scale for Technic cars. Usually the scale is smaller like the Corvette or the forklift or bigger like the rally car or the Porsche. Actually, if we only compare the length, the rally car is pretty close. That one is 42 centimeters long. But as you see here, the proportions are very different. The charger should be much longer and wider if it had the same scale as the rally car. Another obvious choice for comparison from the Technic line is the Porsche 911 RSR, but that one is 50 centimeters long. So that's more than 10 centimeters of difference. If you compare the scale with the Creator Expert Ford Mustang, it is actually pretty close. The LEGO Mustang is visibly smaller, but the real-life versions also had this difference, as the Mustang was more than half a meter shorter than the Charger, and it was much narrower as well. Here's a set for comparison that is not a replica of a real-life model, but it is very much related to the Charger. This is the 42041 race truck. And what is the relationship between the two sets? Actually, this was the last and, well, the only Technic set with the exact same rim and tire combination. By the way, this is my custom RC version. I know I still owe you a detailed demonstration. I hope after the lockdown I will have a chance to finish it and film it properly. So, let's see the wheels. I think we can agree that the wheels on the Charger are simply too big. Look at these huge rims and low profile tires. They are not really good on this car, not even if it's from the Fast and Furious series. As I showed you previously in the review video, the Mustang rims and tires are unfortunately too small, otherwise they could be a really nice match. It's interesting because in reality I don't think there's a huge difference between the wheel sizes of the two cars, but these just don't look right here. What other options do we have? Unfortunately not many. The diameter of the stock wheels on the Charger is 56mm, the ones on the Mustang are 49.5mm. Unfortunately, LEGO does not really have anything between these two sizes, so we don't have too many alternatives. This one has the same size as the Mustang wheels, only the rim is different, so it also looks too small. These are the wheels from the forklift with fat street tires, but the diameter is 62mm, so it's even bigger than the original one. The tire rim proportions are much better, but the car now looks like the off-road version from Fast and Furious 7. Here you can see the size difference between the two wheels. Another almost good option is coming from the app-controlled Batmobile. The diameter is again 56mm, but these are more like off-road tires, so again not the best fit for this car. Unfortunately, I don't see any good options from the current LEGO lineup. Maybe we will find some better options with third-party RC tires. Now let's see if we can fit a driver in this car. The steering wheel seems to be really big, and there's not much space between that and the seat, so our chances are low, but let's give it a try. As you can see, the guy actually fits, but the steering wheel looks huge in front of him. If you close the door, the result is actually not that bad. He looks a bit like a kid who stole daddy's car, but I think it works. What about the next obligatory question? Does it fit on the car transporter? Well, technically, it fits. Almost. Okay, the scale of the two vehicles is very different, but at least it does not fall off. Well, let's agree that it does not fit. Let's have a look at the wheel arches again before we finish this video. As you see, theoretically they would match the wheels, and I really wanted to see these pieces in black. But if we have a look at it from the side, it becomes clear that the curvature of those wheel arches from the Corvette does not match at all the shape of the Charger. The side of the Charger is supposed to be almost flat, and the shape of this piece is very different. They are okay on the original set because that one is much smaller, and there are no big flat surfaces on the side of the car. So, that was my second video about the Charger. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and also let me know if there's anything else about this set that you would like to see. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, 
You can also subscribe and tap the notification bell if you want to see more technical reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.